Hi, my name is Joseph Underwood, and I wrote my paper on vaccine hesitancy in relation to the COVID-19 pandemic. It's become a major issue in the United States and abroad, especially with an influx of vaccines coming in to help stop the COVID-19 virus. Uh, it, vaccines are the only way we can really get back to normal, and not taking a vaccine could be putting other people at risk. Uh, a main, a couple problems that could induce vaccine hesitancy in individuals would be unfactual social media posts, which can lead to misinformation, and low vaccine numbers that are reported pretty much all across Europe. Uh, a good example of low vaccine numbers could be f uh, from an article written in the Globe and Mail in, in Toronto by uh, Eric Reguli, where it says, By Wednesday, the French government has inoculated fewer than 1.2 million of its 67 million people, well behind the European Union average, according to Bloomberg's vaccine tracker. That's just so many people less than we need to have vaccinated. We need a lot more people. Um, my first solution to vaccine hesitancy would be forced vaccination, which would be everyone has to get the shot at some point in their life, unless if they have an allergic reaction to it or would otherwise immediately die from it. And this is just completely unreasonable because you can't force someone to get a shot. You can't use the government's power to force someone in that type of situation. Uh, alternatively, uh, my second solution would be requiring vaccines for a job or school system. So if you need to work in a factory job around people and machines, you would have to get a, a COVID shot and be immune to the virus. You won't spread it. Or in schools, when you're in a small classroom with a bunch of kids, then they wouldn't be spreading it throughout one another. This idea is sort of plausible because it would be you would put vaccines on people that need them the most, and that would curve the um, numbers of infection, but it's not necessarily the best idea because it still involves forcing people to get the shot. Finally, I think the best way to stop the COVID-19 virus and to curb vaccine hesitancy would be better education and outreach. This could be in schools where you're holding seminars, where you're, um, uh, informing kids on like proper social distancing or how vaccines work themselves or you could do it just out in the public in like general congregation areas where most people are. This would help <laughs> curb the virus because you would just have more information out there for people to find and realize that they shouldn't be too scared about vaccines because they're not that dangerous. It's vaccine hesitancy has been a major problem for not just this year, but past years. There's past examples of flu shots and polio vaccines where it seems really dangerous because it sounds like you're putting the virus in your body itself, and that's what you're trying to avoid in the first place. But when you really come down to it, it's, it's like a dead version of the virus, and it can't harm you, but it can make your body develop the antibodies to fight it off. Ultimately, vaccine hesitancy is a major issue, but it can be fixed. We can try to put more shots in more people's arms, but the only way we can really do that is by convincing them. Convincing someone to get a shot can be much more effective than actively forcing them to get it, because they could help your cause and try to get other people to take the vaccine. And this would lead to a spread in vaccinations across the board. In the end, it's down to personal choice if you're going to get a vaccine or not. That's why education and information is so important. Because if we can get someone to personally choose to take a vaccine, then they understand what they're getting themselves into. And they can help other people make that decision or help them get a vaccine. It's, it's about the informed population outweighing the uninformed population. Because... The more, the closer we can get to, the closer we can get to more people having the shot, the easier it'll be to weed out the disease.